time to dish with Dee. That's me. I am finally getting around to filming this video. This has been on my to-do list for probably two, three weeks. Katie Lee Beagle from the Food Network, The Kitchen, she made a cauliflower Alfredo sauce. And I think, I believe she is a Weight Watchers person now. Baby Weight, you know. Nothing against Baby Weight, but you know, just saying. I love her though, I do. But I thought I would film this because we wanted to try it. I have cauliflower, I'm Italian, I like good Alfredo, so I'm curious because I do like, I've been trying to get the one that's in the jar, it's either ragu or prego. Somebody makes a cauliflower Alfredo and I have never been able to find it. So what do you do if you can't find something? You create your own. So I got my head up, cauliflower, and I am ready to go. I need to get two cups of cauliflower florets from this, put them in salted boiling water and cook them for 20 minutes. So I am going to get that and let's get started because I'm hungry and I have a chicken, barbecue chicken meatloaf in the oven cooking. And that's just meatloaf with barbecue sauce on it. Nothing special. But, you know, people always ask, ooh, D, film that. And I'm having a small matcha latte from Duncan. Oh. Let's get started on this, shall we? All right, I have my head of cauliflower. I'm just gonna cut it into florets. The smaller the florets, the quicker it will cook, obviously. So decide how big you want them. They're gonna be pureed anyway, so it really doesn't matter. You're not really looking for pretty florets anyway. You can just chop, hack at it. My water is on the stove at high, starting to boil. So we need to get this in here, rinsed off and into the boiling water. So, like I said, it doesn't have to be pretty, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be in the thing. And I'm gonna put all of this in here because I'm not saving it for anything. So it might be a little bit cauliflowery, but I'm all right with that because I do love cauliflower. No room by me, but I do love me some cauliflower. I'm gonna hack away with this and I will bring you back when I get the cauliflower, when I'm putting the cauliflower in the boiling water. You'll, I'll have, you can have a look. Alright, give our good cauliflower a nice little rinse in our colander. Our water is rapidly boiling and it's already salted. We just drop our cauliflower in there. Now, when we go to take our cauliflower out, the recipe states that we use a slotted spoon because we're saving the water for the pasta. So that's go. All right, we're going to let this boil for about 20 minutes. We're going to come back and we're going to pull it out with a slotted spoon and we will continue on the journey for cauliflower deliciousness. All right, I took my cauliflower out. It is draining. I tossed, now she of course puts fettuccine, which makes sense of course, fettuccine alfredo, but I am just doing some penne because it's going to be a side dish for us and I just prefer a cup macaroni when I'm doing side dishes. It's just me though. Again, you can use whatever pasta you want. You can use a whole wheat pasta on purple. That would be great because you wouldn't have to count it. But I am doing my regular Barilla Semolina Penne. So this has to boil for 11 minutes. When this is done draining, we're going to start the sauce and let's get to it. Okay, in my bowl, I have my drained cauliflower and it's said to put it in a blender, but for purposes for you guys. I'm just going to use my immersion blender, which is a blender. So it says a cup of one or two percent milk. I am actually opting out and using creamy cashew. Only because I have it and I'm interested to see how it tastes. All right, now we have to blend. <laughs> beautifully because it's perfectly tender. Okay, in my pan I have, I use two tablespoons of light butter instead of three tablespoons of regular butter, so, and melting with some garlic. Now she did use the crushed garlic clove, yeah, she takes it out, well, you know Dee likes her garlic, so I'm leaving it in. Melt this. 
And then we grab our cauliflower puree. And we pour that in. Look how beautiful that looks. Now we haven't seasoned much, so we're gonna add some salt and pepper. Now your butter is salted, of course. These were well, she used unsalted and it's not. This is stir till it's heated through. I'm going to drain my pasta. And then we'll add the cheese in a minute. We're gonna let this get heated through and then we're gonna add our cheese. All right, I just added my Parmesan cheese and I'm just gonna stir it to combine. Now I did save some pasta water just in case I wanted to thin it out a little bit because it does look a little thick to me. So that's when we bring our pasta water and just a little bit because it's starchy and everything. So it'll help thin it and thicken it at the same time. And there you have it. I'm gonna stir this to combine. I'm gonna pour it over my pasta and then we're gonna have a taste. It smells really good, it looks really good. Look at that. I'm a little intrigued. And then we'll go over the points for the sauce because we all know how much points is in the pasta, but how many points is in the sauce? That butter mixed up. All right, here it is all mixed up together. Look how thick. Well, let's have a taste because it might look good, but does it taste good? Did Katie Lee do justice to this? Yeah, well, let's have a taste. Dinner tonight is barbecued chicken meatloaf. I use the 96, whatever the zero point chicken is. And my G uses sugar-free barbecue sauce, so this meatloaf is zero points. And I'm using Katie Lee Beagles cauliflower Alfredo. I use penne pasta instead of spaghetti, and it's regular pasta, so I have to count six points for the pasta. And I'm not sure the points for this sauce, I haven't figured it out yet because I just got done making it. But it's it's cauliflower, how big can it really be? Considering my meatloaf is zero, I could afford to have some extra points, but look how good that looks. Katie Lee, I can't wait to dig in. All right, let's taste it because, you know, I did everything right. It's definitely creamy. There was another taste. I like it. Does it taste like cauliflower? Yes. Is it good? Yes. You have to like cauliflower. I don't know if you didn't like cauliflower, would you like it? I mean, the cheese covers it up a little bit, but the creaminess that it gives it is just, I'll make it show you. I mean, it's just fantastic. And look at that. It stays on the fork. So I consider this a win. I will definitely be making this again. I will come back with the points because I had a rush to get it made. I haven't even figured out the points. It could be extremely high. I don't know. Even if it was, it's still got to be better than regular Alfredo sauce. At least I hope so. But it's a vegetable. And I don't know if, if you fed this to your child, would they know? I don't know. That's a really good question. Well, let me come back and give you the points and the breakdown. So here we are the next day because I didn't feel like finishing this up yesterday. Sorry about that. Some days, eh, I'm just not feeling things. So the cauliflower Alfredo with the ingredients I used came to three points for the sauce for six servings. Now, if you get more servings, it would be less points. Again, I don't know. You're going to say, D, how much is the serving? I don't know. I didn't measure it. <laughs> I know. Bad Weight Watcher person. I know. I know. But, you know, if you know me well enough, I don't get too crazy over that kind of stuff. But I did have a cup of pasta and I did have a serving of the sauce. So my pasta was six points. My sauce would be, so be nine points. Could you find it an Alfredo lower? Sure. Now, you could tweak it. I did tweak it in the recipe builder that I, that I put in there. Because I don't really think you need two whole tablespoons of light butter. I just cut it down to a tablespoon and a half. You can probably go to one tablespoon, probably. I don't think it made that much of a difference. And in fact, I might go down to one. If it lowers the points, I may go down to one tablespoon because I don't think it added that much. Honestly, it cooked, the, it cooked the garlic and I left my garlic in. She pulls it out. Now, let me see if, it, if, if I go down to one, if it helps. Because honestly, like I said, I don't really think it added that much. 
I don't usually cook with a lot of butter. I would have probably used olive oil, honestly. All right, let's see if it if it's so, yeah, two points. So yeah, let's crack it down to one tablespoon of butter because I don't think it added that much. Honestly, I personally don't think. And you could, if you really want some butter, spray your thing with some butter spray or use those. Remember the butter buds? I haven't seen them in forever. But yeah, I'm cracking that down to one because I don't think it added that much. Honestly, to me, it was all about the garlic and the creamy cauliflower. That was, and the cheese. That was where I like to spend my points on the Parmesan cheese. So yeah, I'm going to crack that down to one tablespoon of butter and I think the cashew milk cup I thought it was delicious in there honestly I didn't think it tasted weird and the three ounces of parmesan cheese now you can up your parmesan cheese on your plate if you wanted a little bit more that's totally up to you but I went with three ounces of the parm cheese so it's very easy cauliflower milk of your choice again I used cashew you could use almond not the vanilla, but I don't think you'd notice it. The little bit of light butter, the Parmesan cheese, the garlic, salt, and pepper. Basically, that's all it was. So it's very basic ingredients. I really enjoyed it. Everybody enjoyed it here. They want me to make it again. So I'll do it again. I thought it was good. Um, that's all I have to say. So I think it was a hit. Like I said, I, I'm i going with the two points because that definitely makes more sense. Like I said, I don't feel it added that much. Or I also have a olive oil called butter. If you've never had, uh, I, don't know. I go all over my olive oils, you know that. So that is it. So I will going to upload this now. It's only been like 24 hours later. Hey, you know, I'm on, I'm on snow vacay. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did give it a thumbs up, let me know if you plan on trying it. It actually was pretty good. Um, did it taste like, people ask, what did it taste like cauliflower? I mean, a little bit i like cauliflower so it wasn't a bad thing and we like cauliflower here so it wasn't a bad thing for us if you don't like cauliflower i'm not sure what you'd think of it honestly um it was definitely it was so beautiful and creamy you saw how thick it was and if you if you even want it could thin it out even more with more pasta water so i had a little bit extra i didn't even use it but if you even want a little bit thinner you could even add a little bit more pasta water and it will probably stretch it a little bit more like i said it was it, it, and the more it sat with the pasta, the thicker it became. So yeah, maybe I should have used more pasta water. In hindsight, I probably should have because it did, once you tossed it with the pasta, it did thicken, which was nice. It was like coated. It'd be great, I think. Next time, I think it'd make a great baked pasta. Like put some spinach and some artichokes, make a baked pasta. That's it. Shut the front door. That's what I'm going to do with it next time. I think that would be awesome oh, and some chicken oh, it would it would make it would make a fantastic big pasta and the points are very very low and you're getting a vegetable so you gotta look at it that way it's you know it's extra fiber in our diets so thank you very much i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to bring you more weird food finds here on dish with d goodbye folks if you like it and remember if you haven't subscribed there's a subscribe button. Have a great night or day or day or weekend. I don't know. Whenever this video gets uploaded.